Hi, today I'm going to repot my orchid. I had this beautiful Philanopsis orchid that had two beautiful stems on it uh, that I had, I had gotten earlier in the spring, like in February. And finally, I lost my last bloom. So now I want to take it out of the pot that it came in. So there's a few things about orchids that you kind of have to remember. One, neglect them. Don't overwater them. Put them to the side. Just look at them, but don't touch them. That's kind of my rule. So now when it comes to transplant, I'm going to take it out what it came from. And what I'm going to do now is remove all this sphagnum moss they've compact in this. I'm going to loosen all of this up. I don't need all of this because what I want to do is if I got some bad roots such as this, I want to trim all this old bad stuff off. I want to encourage new growth. So what I did then is I cleaned my clippers. It's very important to make sure you have a very clean tool to use this. I don't want to trim it too far back, but I do have some new growth. I probably waited maybe a little too long to transplant this but time kind of slipped away from me. And I'm going to use basically a bark mixture and it's made for orchids, for Philanopsis orchids. But I am gonna go ahead and get remove some of this really bad stuff that's not even green anymore. There's no reason to keep all these roots that are brown on there. We just don't need it. So I'm going to cut it and encourage new growth. Okay, so as you can see, this had two stalks that had bloomed. I'm going to remove this stalk all the way down here. The reason I'm gonna do that is I wanna encourage better growth on this. Now, if I wanted to, I could have possibly just cut above a node that's on this stem where there was a bloom there. I could have cut that and encourage a bloom. The reason why I'm kind of doing, removing that is because I want this plant just to focus all this energy on just growing new stuff. So now I started with a brand new sterile clean container and it has drainage in there and I have a little bit of drainage that's gonna to go to the bottom. So this is my pine mixture and it's just beautiful, good pine. I have really shallow roots, so I'm gonna fill it maybe three fourths of the way to my container. I'm gonna just take a little bit and hollow out the center. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place that down in there. Now I'm gonna backfill with my mulch. Kind of press. It takes a little bit to do that. You want a shallow container, you don't want a real deep container because orchids are very rooty and very, very airy. You don't want to use normal potting soil. It's way too thick and it's going to just rot the roots off right away. This mixture is made the roots to go through it and get air. So if you do something, um, or you've, if you look at orchid pots, you'll see that they have a lot of holes. It's for ventilation. They don't like that. You could also take a lot more of clean sphagnum moss and wrap all your roots in that and drop it in there too. But I like the pine um, a little bit better. I'm going to water this really good and thorough because it was a little on the dry side. And I'm going to water this about every 14 days. I run mine very, very dry. Uh, you don't need to keep it saturated. They don't want wet feet, so to speak. So run them a little on the dry side. So it's gonna take six months or better for my blooms to come on up on the next time. And then shorter days and cool days and low fertilizer or no fertilizer is what encourages your orchid to bloom. So I gotta wait and see what happens. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more ideas with Honors Floral Gift and Garden.